Hello everyone, this is Sirius Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Ranchful Campaign. This is episode 19. We pick it up from turn 77 in the autumn season of 205. So last episode, uh, we ended up with a fight over here against Coronel's army. It's wiped out now and uh, we're just resting here. Uh, all our army have moved. Uh, Sun Tzu is holding an ambush. I don't know what our brother is planning, so we gotta be careful. And over here, we're just gonna hope our food tribute and uh, subsequent diplomatic deals will keep Ma Teng's faction away from us. Yeah, that's the best we can do. Uh, we got a bunch of items, which is nice. And uh, we got our characters that we were looking for, Lui Bu and Lui Ji. We even married her to our son, lucky boy. And let's see, we want to build as much corruption reduction as we can. So that's crucial. That's the first thing we need to build. Uh, we're planning to upgrade this and pop in a state workshop for that purpose. But is there anywhere else where we can get to work right away? For example, here. And here. And here if we had cash. Hmm. Of these places, Xingdu's uh, Chen and Yinchuan's more rushed. Because once we get a tier 5, we can downgrade this commandery down. And then save us a little bit more gold uh we still have this very annoying situation here uh where they're still sieging us um i think one more loop at most and we should be able to delegate a win and just get rid of liu yao forever uh we can't do much about him right now i'm gonna steal li jue over next turn he has pretty good background bonuses and we do have one potential character that we could swap and we can prepare for in case anyone dies of old age it's always a possibility. All right, that's pretty much it. Let's continue here. All right, here they come again. They have less men than us now. We're getting close to being able to beat them. Um, gonna have to loop them one more time. So see you guys then here. Alrighty guys, no more stalling for us. We actually beat them. So they're not dead, but we beat them back. But they might as well be dead. All right, we got the green storage. Okay, we're getting along with Yang Feng. We have a lot of interesting characters with like different boosts because uh, they used to be faction leaders. Like Yang Feng has minus 10% radio could be plus 10% experience. If he gets honest as a trait, then we can definitely use him. He's a little old. All right, anyhow. Uh, I don't know if the army, it's somewhere over here. They're probably going to assault us again. Uh, let them come. We'll wipe them again. We're coming to attack this. Where's our western front? There they are. I think we're going to ignore this and go for the rice paddy before Liu Bei somehow, you know, annex that as well. we'll go up to here. And we'll take that next turn. No problem. Alright. No one really exciting by the look of things. But we don't know about items. Okay, I don't really care about Builder. Uh, to be honest, we can't really spend that much legitimacy anymore. Like, we pretty much used all the ones we can. I really wanted to go back up. But right now it's going to be a little difficult because no one really wants to work with us. Alright, our busy boy Zhou Tai here. So I want to recover our temple. I don't know what happened. Oh, I do know what happened to the army. They're sieging our city. Hmm. We have to march back. And then we have to fight him tired. Yeah, I don't think we have a choice here. I hope he pulls away from the siege. Because fighting fatigued is not really fun. Hmm. We could delegate first just to take him off the siege. And then we can use this army as a regular army instead of reinforcing army. Because it would be really not fun to walk these guys up into the battle. So I think we'll just delegate this for the win just to bounce him off. Alright, 
Get money. Alright, we'll let these guys be inside. Then next turn we don't have to be exhausted and we can fight. Uh, we're pretty depleted. This army has come here to relieve them. Um, I think we can get a little aggressive and march. Uh, Nobe is not happy about that trespass. Hmm. That's a bit awkward. I can trade farmland for livestock farm if they're willing. Let me try to negotiate that. It's winter. Maybe he's lacking food. I mean, we're still buddies, right? Give us the livestock farm. We complete Yangzhou. Oh, we complete Chen. You can complete Yangzhou. Okay, so he's not asking the world. That's it's a reasonable price he's asking for. Come on, you still don't want to be independent at this point? Alright, I don't like Vanguard armors. This one's not that good either. I kind of want to make him like us, so... I want it to be plus 0.5. I'll use a combination of money and food to make that happen. Nobody's not that rich, so... 5,000... There we go. Alright, transferred our territory and improved our relationship at the same time. This allows us to head over there without a problem. Mm. Yeah, this is probably faster. Level 4, not bad. Okay. Seems like he's busy with Zhengjiang. Maybe we can head... Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we need to head over here. We might lose the trading port here. I don't know. He might not attack that. He might just land here and try to go for the capital. I'm going to disguise this army for a little bit. See what he does. I don't need that. That was just for a mission. I need to get this going, but we don't have cash. Uh, we can downgrade one more. Alright, our armies have moved. Hunan's now making the most money. Impressive. Dan is coming right up. If I don't build that, do I have enough to push for a corruption reduction somewhere? Hmm. Just a little bit short. A few hundred short. Well, that deal with Obe is very important, so I don't regret anything. No, no, no. Not demolish. Upgrade. We can pull him out. He's leading an army in Jincheng. Oh, he's all the way back here. Okay. I still want to extract him. I don't think there's anyone we can mess with. Like, all the people I want are happy faces right now, so... Come to us. We also need to save money, because we want to summon Lu Bu. And Lu Ji. And maybe even our son, but we probably want to give them a strategist, so probably not. Got to prepare them for the battle to the north. Yeah, I'm just going to ignore the situation. I'm just happy keeping the weapon craftsman. I don't really care about the town. No, waiting for reform. Alright, we're just going to save the rest of the money. Um, I think everyone's happy. Let's continue. Oh, Han Sui declared war. Ma Teng didn't, but he did. But are they they're in alliance? Are they in alliance? Oh dear. So it's not gonna look good. 
All right, they're back this time in the lumber yard. Uh, the Oil's faction is going to get destroyed. We can just delegate this now. All right, faction gone. All right, this is tricky. Maton didn't join. Onvoson died of old age. The Oil's destroyed. We finally finished our challenge. We can use some population growth for sure. And path of glory, objective control, Chen, finish this. So our next challenge is also done. Uh, man, we are getting pulled apart here, left and right. So he's retreated. He's back here. I maybe we don't need their help. Maybe they they're better off going back to protect the farmland. Hmm. We should actually take them down. But I don't know if there's any more armies filtering through. That's Gong Sun Zan's army. So it's, there's a little risk there. It's going to be safer if we wipe this out and then turn. Because he'll probably come. He probably can't do much because he got to heal. And we heal a lot faster here. So maybe this is the move. Medium casualty. Come on. Okay, we'll take low. One hundred fifty. Uh, that's a lot more than I wanted. Okay, voice of reason. I don't think we need you. We'll just get money. Yellow turban. I don't think we need either. Uh, probably should got two percent replenishment. I got some extra experience. Can we chase him down? No, we can't. All right, let's go back then. Pick up a reform. So I think here's where we go for this. Jade mine level 4, get some extra commerce. Oh, actually no. We started down this path. We need to finish it. Alright. 10% from all source. That's a great boost. Alright, we don't need her. Alright, we need them. They need to hurry up with the war against Vala. Because I need them back north. They ran away from protecting their capital. Oh man, they're not even protecting their capital. I mean, I know it's medium, but I don't think we need to bother too much here. What can this army do to us? Oh, level up. There we go. And then it refreshed the mission check for the challenge. And this is complete. We get more turns of Path of Glory. And the next one is destroy our brother. We will do this. All right, we'll get hamstring. Yeah, they can't really attack the city with our range intact. We'll be able to wipe them out, and then it's a slow march. So that's why I feel like it's okay if we just delegate for medium. They're they're all on the run. There is no garrison here. So this is also a delegate here. Well, at least they're gonna get us some counties, get us some income. Might be a little wasteful with two armies in the south, but it's a lot of land to cover and in case someone attacks us down here. It's nice to have a spare army. So they landed. They're going to go for the trade port. They're probably going to take the trade port. But if you notice the shape of the trade port, this part of the land still belongs to the commandery. So, if we walk up, we're still going to replenish and all that. And they can't just bypass it to attack us, so they can't double team us. Ansui declare war. It's going to be tricky. I'm guessing he will have armies filtering over. But this is a pretty strong place to hold. Chan's not easy to take. Let's see. I don't want to get double teamed. I don't mind ambushing them over here. So, if we can find a good spot like this. I um, have another army. They have a lot of armies here. Yeah, I feel slightly stretched thin in the north, especially along the Yellow River. Um, you know, I want an army here. I want another army over here. And probably this army closer to here would be better. Uh, Ribu's group. 
We could summon them. We could use the money and just summon them. The best place to recruit them would be actually Runan because of the replenishment. So we can actually summon them here, have them go this way perhaps. Cut inside just to get us a good view of what's going on here. Okay, we see the old drunk. Okay. Yeah, we can have them go all the way here to the lumberyard. Then we can stall forever with the lumberyard and then just march them back out through this road. And then they can rejoin the fight here and go north. That could potentially work. So. We get some heavy... Ah, uh, there's two of them. We can only keep one. Why can't he have a regular one and a heavy one? That would be so good. Alright. So Li Wu is definitely in this army and daughter is obviously going with him. Oh, she has a regular one. Nice, nice. We gotta keep a regular one. And we need to give them a strategist. Cheng Gong? Oh. Why don't you get along with them anymore? Hmm. We could get Zhou Yu out here. Wait, Zhou Yu's not actually doing anything here? Oh, Zhou Yu is an army down south. I mean, if Chen Gong doesn't want to work, uh, he should probably just go with them. Get a rivalry buff going. Give them more damage. We can dig that. Alright, so level 4 guys leaving us. Ugh, so sad. Alright, we'll let him command all the cavalry. He's also really high rank, so he can recruit these. Yeah, I think we'll do that. And then for this army here, we're keeping one of these. Doesn't matter which one. We'll swap the other for one of these. One of these. And... One of these. And then we can go... Ooh, that's going to take forever to replenish. We're just going to recruit two of these, just because they're cheapest. We're not keeping them, so they're not really breaking the rule. We're going to use them to flip into these two. And then... Onyx Dragon for sure. The last unit's questionable here. He has fire arrow, so we technically don't need the oil arrow. We're probably better off getting archers. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, that's a decent setup. They can heal up here. Two turns. Very quick. Very quick here. 62%. And then they can start headed over here. Take these land. And then just turn up. All right, we still have some money. Let's see what we can build. So, same rule. Corruption reduction first. I need to upgrade that. Hmm. School building. Oh, we just conquered this. Alright, get rid of that. We can probably get rid of that. I'm not looking for income here. So, I mean, yeah. I guess we'll, we'll keep it for now. We've got to build things one at a time. And this gives a discount to the state workshop because there's a minus 10% construction cost. So we'll get the corruption reduction build up, then we'll take this down. There we go. And where do we want the assignments? Hmm. No surplus market. Oh, misclicked. Uh, I don't necessarily want commerce boost here. If I want commerce boost, it should be here. Okay, it's not working. Nayan has no assignment. That's no good. Definitely deserve at least a commerce boost. Do I have any other random strategies for the job? Not quite. Okay. I think we're good. We might lose the farmland, but we are in position to take it back. So that should be okay. Alright, this is the mess we have to take care of. Let's continue.
Oh dear, what is this? We do the land swap with Liu Bei, and then they backstab us right away by taking the farmland. What kind of honor is this? Well, we're gonna lose this, and Liu Bei is our enemy now. So, oh dear, this is what we were afraid of. He is one tough enemy. Hmm. All right. I mean, we have to lose this. Uh, what happened to our plus 100 sa uh, happiness with us? Alright, we're losing the farmland in Trunt. This we knew what happened, that's fine. Okay. And the trade port. Defeat after defeat after defeat. <laughs> uh, Liu Bei has betrayed us. don't think pacifist is the way to go here. I Yeah, Vengeful's play better. Alright, the good news is Lü Bu's army can turn this way now instead of that way. And we can start crushing Liu Bei. Huh. This army also should go north. I, I don't care about these Han officials. I don't care about these small towns. I care about this. And this army can rush over here. Try to intercept that. Or we can start here and reinforce the central plains, which might be in trouble. Alright, let's actually do this. We can't lose more land. All right, we need to plan things out. He sacked it. He didn't even take it. He reduced the level and ran. What a coward. Huh. I could just go for his capital. I mean, it's, it's really no value to us. We can take Zhou Rong's capital right now, but then we'll leave everything exposed. Just, uh... I don't know where Liu Bei's army is. It's likely ambushed somewhere here. We gotta be super careful. I'm not going into the city. That seems like suicide. If Liu Bei's ambushed here and they double team me, forcing me into a garrison fight, we will lose. But if we reinforce and have the option to retreat, we're more flexible. Uh, well, this is an easy solution now, because we can just pick them apart with our two armies. Zhang Yang. Oh my god, so many characters again. Quick look. We have a lot of other headaches, but still, quick look. Officer, uh, we don't really need that. I mean, like, we really, two silver items is amazing, but like, we really don't have, um, the legitimacy to spend right now. Alright, let's wake this guy up. We don't have night battle on this side. We have to remember that. But on this side... Oh, we also don't have night battle, are you serious? So this will be a 2v2. That hasn't happened in a while. Huh. I could potentially 1v2. I, I don't really like 2v2. I'm trying to think it's better to force a siege battle with reinforcement coming in. No, we probably need reinforcement. All right, this is also a headache. We moved here. I actually don't know which way to move here either. Towards the farmland or towards the obey. They probably need to stay here. Or we can just keep waiting. Wait for them to finish and come back and help. The obey didn't have any siege weapons, so our cities are safe. Hmm. 
All right, we go here. We trust Zhou Tai and we trust Liu Bu will get here in time. Man, that changes a lot of things. All right, they are running away on to the waters here. That's exactly what Wallon did actually when Sun Tzu uh, beat him. He escaped to sea and then basically negotiated peace through the Imperial Court, which asked Sun Tzu to deliver Wallon back, and Sun Tzu agreed. All right, we'll get this going. So we'll leave this one army alone to take care of Wanlong, which is more than enough. This group can try their best to go here. They're going. All right, so it's back to this headache. Can't avoid it. We don't have night battle, which is the big issue. Because we don't have night battle, it's going to be awkward two on two. It's just the reinforcement angles are all messed up. Like, we can attack this group, get them to reinforce from like the wrong direction uh, maybe maybe that's how it's got to work maybe we just have to run this guy over here and then we attack the unit that's outside and not the commandery that way we get like a weird reinforcement angle for this group and our units are closer together Well, this is probably the biggest fight we had so far. Uh, let's see. He has the line breaker item. So, strong unique weapon from MTU. Good news is not so high armor piercing. Alright, these are nobodies. Okay. We should be able to handle them. Let's go. Alright, so this is what we kind of wanted. Our reinforcement to be far away from their reinforcement. Because if they were going to come in the same direction, we were going to have a lot of problems. Um, we're going to favor our side, of course. And then try to use as much of this hill as we can. Probably just hide here. Fight. And buy time for our reinforcement to show up. The siege weapon probably won't make it in time. But we'll see what we can do. We just gotta be mindful not to catch our own trees on fire. Yeah, I think that's okay. And then... We'll like hide this group here. This way the cavalry can charge out when they need to. Crossbowmen. Okay, how do we protect them? I think we protect mainly this group. Except for this guy, everyone should use formations. I'm a little worried about blocking their site. They should counter charge. Axes are pretty good at counter charging. I'll put them right here. And the militia group. Mm. Just cover here. I'm gonna put this guy on this side, just in case cavalry comes through. And these babies will have to hide in the back because they are worthless. We're gonna use these as distractions. She'll stay in the back. Hmm. I mean, if anyone's going to duel him, it's going to be us. But maybe we should wait till we have like strategists that's debuffing and everything. I'm assuming they might go for the forest. Let's 
see if we can force them into a weird position. Yeah, we can't beat him. Um, but we can maybe go duel him. He's willing to duel. Alright, our reinforcements are coming. How do we take care of this group? That's another question. We can potentially just put them here. The siege weapons, at least. Put them, like, here. Get a nice crossfire area. And just ignore the fact that we can't really help. Because they're just never going to make it. Everyone else, though... Try your best to run over here. Don't disappear into the forest, my friend. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna get everyone to run over here real quick. Oh, they're holding defensively for a while. That's good. That's good news for us. Um we have some time to maybe group our guys together. So, maybe we want to send some units here. Maybe to his side so we can charge out again. By that logic. Like... They're probably better here. And they're probably just better on the flanks. Go over here to distract another group. <laughs> forgot forgot about this was happening. But we killed them, no problem. Alright, we can pick off some of these range units here. I think we assigned everyone a place over there. So we're gonna ignore that real quick. Some of these are from the garrison, so that's why they have so little troops. Because the garrison they just took, so it's still replenishing. But we should be able to tear apart at least this range reinforcement part. As they're waiting for the reinforcements to gather up first before they make their march. Which is actually silly. They have very strong cavalry, they could rush our position. They're kind of ignoring our cavalry placement. It's actually pretty dangerous for them to have our cavalry flanking them on two sides when they want to charge up. All right, we'll keep microing him. But I already feel really good about this fight. They have more reinforcement. Could they get like? Six or seven extra retinues from the garrison. Actually, ten more retinues from the garrison. Versus two full stacks. So as we route these garrison units, we should see stronger units actually show up. Including generals, because there's no way only one general showed up for this army. Yeah. Are they just going to wait till like the rest of the units show up as well? Because technically they're on defense, aren't they? So like, oh, they're moving, they're moving. Okay, good. Wait, are they moving or are they just tilting? I can't tell. Waiting for more reinforcements to show up. Yeah, well, we might need to hurry this up because we're actually on offense. Yeah, 
，有趣啊！你又能鼓唇弄舌，又懂战场厮杀。They're not gonna make it. Hmm. Okay, they're absorbing the infantry and the cavalry. We're just picking off units. It's okay. We got time. Not gonna rush this. Uh, we're wasting tribuche shots. Okay, hold on, hold on. Gotta slow it down. Are they charging us? No, they're not. They're just still holding. Are they waiting? Oh, reinforcements are coming. Can we pick him off? Fight us. We didn't get to see the last duel, but this one, I'm pretty confident. I mean, he has a little better weapon than the last guy, but he's a vanguard, so a little less health. They do have a lot of cavalry in this fight. All right, we'll come back. Just kind of want to see if everyone's kind of in the right places. Yeah, yeah, we'll do this. The crossfire a little bit. All right, we'll go back to enjoy the duel. Are they actually charging at our guys? I don't know, we'll buy some so time to charge over. There we go. Ooh, both arms. Ouch. Are they going to charge us anytime soon? They still waiting for reinforcements? They have more. I'm pretty sure at our, our health level, we can't fight him anymore. They're not even bothering to chase us. Do I really need to move my position up? Oh, here they come. We'll use charge to get out. Are we exhausted? Oh, yes, we are. Okay. If that's the case, we have to smash the ground. And get out this way. Alright, get out, get out, get out, get out. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh, we're exhausted, that's not good. Alright, at least their morale cracked. Alright, we gotta run back. Oh, he has a bow? Okay, doesn't hurt. All right, all the reinforcements are here, right? No? Why can't they chase us? I don't want to leave this position. <laughs> I can probably have time to move them up, like to here. If we're going to have to move our position forward, because they don't seem like they're charging us. We might actually have to charge them. Okay, let's say we're charging them. If we're doing that... Let's see, then we need these two to probably push all the way up to here. We'll take this forest area, at least we have some shelter there. These two can go right behind them. Oh, our big shields. Take them off the formation. Do 
Go protect that. We're planning to stagger them. Get both of them. Guard this side. I want them here. They have more reinforcement. Massive fight. What else can we do? Oil arrow right here. He's not moving. Oh no, he, they made it. Oh, that's a fast. Nobody duels. And then it's just our precious, useless units here. Put them here. They can try to flank out. I wonder if they will charge if all their units are in position, but regardless, our siege weapons should be able to reach them once we get close enough, and then we'll be able to force them to charge us at that time. So, let's see what happens first. Defenders of Earth. Right, they were Impers right before we took their seat. Alright, they're technically still not in range. But we're not rushed either. Our siege weapons aren't in position either. I think we get these guys here. Call them six. I wonder if I can beat him in a duel if I get like all the buffs and debuffs all active on top of me. Are these guys all hidden? Okay, they're good. Alright, let's see if they actually charge me after they get everyone together. Does she want to duel? Hey, let's try that. Get a debuff and come back. The more generals we can take out, the better. And none of them have relationships, so that's good. We're actually in position. Let's move them forward a little bit more. Close. Alright, quick debuff and then get away because we're low health, so he needs all the help he can get. I'm just going to trust the weapon's going to carry through because she has nasty as steel, so if this goes long, it's not going to end well for us. Come on, debuff. Alright, run, 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 run. No joke, get out. Siege weapons. Fire, fire, fire. There we go. Now they have to charge us. The duel is really close. We won. Nice. 
<laughs> we're stuck in the middle here. Get on your horse, get on your horse. Alright, gonna hide them. Charge them out. They can flank. Oh no. Oh no. They wedged us here. Slam. We might die. Actually, you know what? We can do this. <laughs> Get in another duel. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's see how that works. She has low health. We can heal off this duel. Alright, we're fine. We're holding just great. We have this side defended. Uh, we want them to come out, see if we can distract a few of them. And... yeah, nothing else. Charge out, charge out. Kill stuff like that. We won. Another duel. Fourth one. There we go. Beheaded her. Oh, come on. Where's our horse? Cavalry, save us. That horse is over there. Go, 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 go. Alright. Wooden stakes should help. Frontline covered. We should be good. Dumping fire. Come distract. Yeah, we're good. Sun Tzu lives. Alright, we can go kill another general. Let's go. Alright, they're still here. They're gonna re revisit us here. That's fine. I'm gonna turn... No, actually no, we'll keep everyone where they are. Alright, we'll come in for the front line. You'll come here. Ooh, bomb arrows. Uh, can we go take care of that for us? Charge. Charge that. Rear charge. Don't care. Oh, 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 oh. Do not run to that. Kill that. Uh, we'll stall them. Even if we die, it's worth it. Or we can just try to pull away. Alright, their lines are routed. Cavalry. Pull to someone easy. We'll let the archers deal with the rest. Right, we protected our back line, front line held. He reverse charged. Alright, pull these guys away from Goldschwin. Get him, except for you. You run the other way. Let them buy you time. Let your men buy you time. Does he have a slam ability? No, he doesn't. He has a roar. Okay, we're good. We'll kill him instead. Go, go, go. Get him. Alright, they can come back. Alright, he's depleted. Just go chase someone. Debuff. Hmm. What do we want to do with this one? We could just pull them back a little. Turn and shoot. Yeah, hit them from the back. They're good as they're good as dead. Okay. Just fire whoever you want. We got this. Just Gulfstream versus our cavalry. He's killing tons of them. He's unbreakable as well. Okay, maybe we're taking too much loss. Pull away, pull away. There's no reason to have them fight them. Ah, oh, we forgot about this group. Yeah, they're useless. Why do we have them? Alright, go chase something. Have fun. He can deal with our towers and... Let's see. Archers? Oh, he's just chasing us. Ventrol. Go take care of him. Grand Commandant. Uh, you know what? Rapid Tiger, <laughs> come here, do something. Keep pulling. Pull him over. Two points. Okay. Get him.
Get him. Oh, he's so strong. The Saber Militia got here first. But here comes Rapid Tiger. We got him. Alright, that should be a win. Not bad. Good fight. Alrighty. Phase one of that fight is over. That was one of our bigger fights. Hmm. Is he Zhang Lu's kid? I would like to employ him in the future. We'll get the release. She is Liu Dai's daughter, I believe. A good item as well. I think we can actually execute her and her. Take money. Alright, part two of the fight is to take the trade port and crush this army as well. We'll do that separately. They'll crush this. And do they need help? I guess we could help them. Oh, we can actually take it and then Sun Tzu will have a lot of movement left. That's actually good. We'll let them replenish up here and guard this part. Alright, to make sure we don't get siege inside of a raid port, we'll pop out. He needs to go back because trouble is brewing over here. Alright, Domin should be willing to peace out with us very soon, I believe, at this rate. Two stacks. Capital gone. We'll just see what this changed to next turn. It takes them a turn to... Oh, okay, so we can't see his territory. He has... Oh, okay, so he deserves Emperor. He has all of this. And then he has this. And down here is High Empire, I bet. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty big. Ma Teng's very small. Why are we scared of him? Hun Sui's all the way over here. Oh, okay. All right, we're fine. We're fine. Okay. We just gotta focus on this situation. Liu Bei. Guy backstabbed us. My gosh. Okay, Administrator of Runa. We'll take more food. Okay, all the armies have moved. Hmm. It's burning out by itself. This is the only thing we need to upgrade. Um, and a private workshop here. We have 10k. We should be fine. We can probably build almost everything we need. A private workshop first. Alright, this is done. Uh, I want to upgrade that, but we need more corruption reduction first. Now, DNA is not corruption reduction. There we go. Okay, I guess everything is building correctly, so we can come in and start upgrading our economy. Hmm. I mean, we can temporarily build a tax collection while this is going up, and we can get a little money back. Why not, right? And 10% discount on upgrading that state workshop. Alright, I think we're good. Nobody's army missing is a little concerning. It's somewhere near. We might have to just retreat. Lui Bu needs to hurry. We need him. Alright, quick look at spies. Oh, he has full points. We should use something. Alright, no one we want here. He is in an army. In Hedong. We can pursue administrative duty perhaps. Plus 15 plus 9. Okay, the defense stepped up. Alright, we'll balance out some of the points. 
you could look at his faction. All the smiling faces. Zhang Feng. Ooh. This is Zhang Yan's son. Come join us. Although we might have a hard time recruiting him. Very low on legitimacy. Alright, let's continue. Oh? I did not expect him to attack us. I'm thinking about retreating. Because I would like to attack him with night battle. This army is not our strongest, right? We're missing a lot of units here. I mean, his army is not... Uh, Yuan Xi. The, the units are nice. They're high level too. I, I guess we'll retreat. If they chase again, we'll fight. We have that option. Okay, they did chase. Alright, we can't run away then. Let's go for it. Hope the map is a little bit better. Better. Much better. Let's go. Alrighty. So, I like this setup much better. We're in an open plane. They have to walk through forests and we get to shoot them. My preferred setup. Um, the elevation might be an issue. Kind of might want to be just on the high ground here. Give up some of that distance. All right, we'll use these as a flank unit. Fire arrow. We might just keep up the fire arrow attack. Go with the fire theme here. Put them in front. Yeah, we're kind of thin with this army. That's like all we can do. Might use them as a distraction force or a flanking force later on, depending on the situation. Protect one flank. And babysit another unit. Right, I'm gonna do this. Let's go. Alright. They want to attack us. Come, come for us. Come on. Seems like their cavalry is on this side, so I'm gonna move this guy over. Stretch him out a little thinner. Uh, we might want to micro these, right? Because they're going to a forest. All right, they're sending a few units over to us, which is good. Now, we can probably take Yuan Xi if he wants to duel. Yeah, he does. Okay. Alright, no whiz in the river. We're fine. Oh, we got knocked off. I mean, he has a silver weapon too, so it's not like... Alright, hold on. We'll let him do it himself. Smash. Did we smash? Yeah, we didn't, we didn't apply the debuff either. Oh, there we go. Alright, you got debuffed, okay. It should end fairly quickly after this point. We just gotta make sure they're safe. Alright, and then we'll kind of peek at this direction, just so we know what's going on. And watch us kill Yuan Shao's. Oh, he is our nephew! Well, he has resiliency, it's okay, he's level 4. I just realized that we're related. And he's married into the family. 
So he's married to his cousin. Well, uh, spear through the gut. Angry girls. Get on the horse. Don't worry about the girls. Alright, crush the range units. Hold on. Where's our cavalry? We need them back. Suppress that. Uh, charge in here, debuff them. Charge out. Debuff. Oh, what happened? Don't chase. Ah, silly archers. Oh, okay. They're trying to catch us. Can we light it up? Uh, we probably don't need to light it up. Our front line is holding. Can flank over here. Suppress that. Kill those. Yeah, just kill all the range and we're fine. They have really strong infantry, but we're flanking them. We should win these. Make sure they don't come back. Alright, keep going. He can smash attack inside there. Yeah, I don't think there will be a problem. Rear charge. Smash. There we go. Boost. Kill this group. Suppress that. Come kill generals. Uh, they can't put out a suppressive fire. Alright, keep going, keep going. Blank the next group. Alright, get them. Alright, unload on these guys after we kill these. Yeah, I don't know why the AI was so keen on chasing us. Their army is not that good. Now they kind of chased us into our territory. They can't even replenish. Alright, we'll let them go. It's our nephew's army. Alrighty. Ah, uh, we're still in their territory, never mind. Alrighty. So, Zhang Luo also declares war. That doesn't really matter. Got a weapon. Gold? No, silver is good. Um, we're going to end our episode here. We're probably going to pull them back, recruit them a better unit, because this is rather, you know, weak. And then Sun Tzu is also coming back. We'll be able to make a push through here into Dong, which is an imperial city. It'll be overexpanded for sure. And then we'll basically try to sweep through this Shandong Peninsula here. We got to just kick everyone in this area out. We're going to close them in. One army is coming from here, Li Bu is coming from here, he's going to come down, Sun Tzu is going to go across, and he's going to push out, and we should be able to eat all of this pretty easily. Yeah, one army is enough for this, and over here, since he's not being aggressive, oh actually he's getting more men, hopefully, hopefully we can get peace with Domin. Okay, that's not happening. We'll try. <laughs> we'll try. We got one army guarding this entire zone. 
uh, which might be a stretch. But we, we could get another army out. Uh, we'll see. And Obel wants to die near his home. He's waiting for death. 64. Man. Can we... Nope. <laughs> Wishful thinking. All right. Anyhow, uh, that's our episode. Uh, we're going to wrap things up here, and we'll pick it up from here uh, tomorrow. See you guys then. Bye.